Ho-Chunk people have been in the region that we now call Beloit for hundreds of years. Ho-Chunk referred to the area as K-Chunk, meaning Turtle Village, which was at the junction of Turtle Creek and Rock River. The Ho-Chunk people have an established village in the K-Chunk area as long as uh, other people have come and documented that. Um, certainly a lot of Ho-Chunk stories will tell of a village here that was used predominantly for agricultural purposes. For most of the last decade, the Ho-Chunk Nation have been working on a project to bring a new casino, hotel, convention center, dining, and entertainment complex to the area. Beloit has enjoyed a lot of uh, innovation and a, a lot of uh, reinvestment in the community. The Ho-Chunk Nation loves to be a part of that. We know that 1,300 jobs is going to impact this area very well. Um, and, and those are the permanent jobs, probably a few thousand construction jobs. Uh, they might not be permanent, but it's going to make a big difference to those families. With an anticipated project start date of early 2022, this lengthy process involves many agencies and organizations at the state and federal levels. Everything that the Bureau of Indian Affairs has done and the Department of the Interior has done up to this point is to make sure that uh, everybody's protected. So we're here to be a good neighbor for everybody because ultimately it's also our community. With Beloit's history as an iron working and industrial city, the Ho-Chunk Nation plans to incorporate local history and materials into their design. If you take a look around the city of Beloit, there's going to be a lot of different areas that you see harken back to the time of uh, iron working. And that's what we're incorporating into our design too. It's gonna be a, a, an awesome design. And now you know you're Wisconsin.